Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we created one smart style and we created two paragraph formats in the smart style. Now we will assign in the smart form. So I will go to my smart form. I'll just log in again. I will go to Smart Forms Transaction Code. Now we will assign the Smart Style and then Paragraph Formats. Suppose, firstly, I will go to SO details title. I will go to the particular text. Now, I will assign the name of the style. So, you can go to output options. Now, pass the name of the style which we created. So, we gave zss underscore sales ORD. I will go to general attributes. Now I will go to text editor. Now I will go to text. I will go to change editor. So we have SO item details. Now we need to assign the paragraph format here. Now for font 16 and bold, we have the paragraph format AF. But I will not assign as of now. Firstly, I will show you one point. Suppose I'm activating. I just assign the style name. I have not assigned the paragraph format as of now. Suppose if I will run the program, I will run the smart form through the program. I'm giving some date. I will go for print preview. I will remove this breakpoint. You can see I have not assigned any paragraph format but how how it came in bold and font of 16 the c we covered one part in the previous video whatever you are assigning in header data that will act as a default paragraph format default paragraph format if i will go to smart style whatever the smart style we created yes in the header data, we took AF. AF is what? AF is font of 16 and bold. So we have not assigned the paragraph format. Still it converted. How? How it converted? Because by default, it took from where? Header data itself. Just see, it is extremely, extremely useful and save our time. Suppose in the, your smart form, you have so many font which you want, suppose 16 or 18. Take it in the default, taken in the header data. So without assigning the paragraph format inside the smart form, it will take from the header data itself. It will save our time. Suppose we have a smart form output and at 10 places, we want suppose bold and 16. Then what we will do? We will take in the header data of the smart style. And once we will use the smart style inside the smart form, there's no need to assign the paragraph format. It will take the paragraph format from the header data itself. So it will save our time a lot. Now, if I want to assign this paragraph format inside our smart form, how we are assigning? Suppose we will see how to assign. 
So I will click on to text editor. I will go for change edit. Anyways, it is already converted, but still we will learn how to assign. I will assign a F. This is the way to assign a paragraph format. Now I will go to next part. Now we have the SO creation date. So I will go for this. I will just go to output options. I will pass the name of the style. Whenever you will pass the name of the style, it will convert. Yes, it will convert into bold and 16. But we will learn explicitly how to assign also. So for creation date also, we want a F. Now I will come on to created by S O created by. I will pass the name of the style. It will automatically convert into bold and 16 because it will take AF from the default data from the header data. But still we will assign, go to change editor. And here I will assign AF. Now I will go to our main table header. Now, whatever the six text are in that table, we need to go for which particular paragraph format TF. So I will go to first text. Firstly, I will assign the name of the style. I will go to second text. I will go to third text. I will go to fourth text. I will go to fifth text and I will go to sixth text. Now we will assign the paragraph format. I will go to general attributes. I will go to text editor. I will go for go to change edit. Now TF. I will assign for other text also. I will go to change editor. TF. I will go to next. Go to change editor. TF. Material description. Go to change editor. TF. I will go to next quantity. TF. Now I will go to unit of measurement. TF. I will go to back button. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. So it depends upon our requirement. We assigned the paragraph format AF and TF in the smartphone. Anyways, AF is by default. If you want, do not want to assign that particular paragraph format will be applicable. Yes, because that is a part of header data. So I will just go up to our program and we will check. Do we have a expected output? I will click on to the button. 
Now you can see font of 16, font of 16, font of 16, bold, font of 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, and they are in bold. We can go for further changes also. Yes, depends upon our layout should feel look, our layout should feel good. It should be accepted by the customer. So now, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered, yes, how you can assign the style and the paragraph format inside the smart form. You can go to that particular text, assign the name of the style. If you are not assigning any paragraph format, it will take the paragraph format, which is in the header data of the style. Depends upon the requirement, you can assign that particular paragraph format of the style. In the next video, we will start with the creation of the Adobe form. And with same to same process, we will do it for Adobe form also. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.